Why are there secret messages in the Bible? Why is there a whole entire secret story in the Bible that you have to learn how to read? Well, that really is pretty simple. There's a great explanation. And that's because the Knights Templars who founded the church, they would go around the world demanding that people become Christians. And if you didn't become a Christian back then, you were all done. So, what ended up happening was, after many years of this, people coming into your village, okay? And again, I will remind you, the word pagan merely means villager. So, I actually identify with a pagan right now because, you know what? I have my own way of doing things. I have my own understanding based on knowledge and based on books and things that I have read. I have a, a way of doing things that I don't necessarily agree with what the mainstream wants me to agree with. I don't do what the mainstream wants. I don't drink, which they promote it. It's a, there's a reason there's a liquor store on every corner. I don't do drugs. I don't do what they want me to do. Therefore, what, what happens to a guy like me? I get completely demonetized and I get cut off. I cannot, I'm not allowed to make money online on my videos, nothing. Why? Because of what I believe. So I, I get it. I identify as a pagan more than I identify as anything else. Because you know what? I am a villager. I, and I don't want my village interrupted and torn apart by nonsense and lies. So I teach what I teach. And it, it, it might not be true to you, but that's okay. Because belief systems are based on information that you have received and that you understand. That's it. That's what belief systems are built off of. So if we weren't taught anything, you would have a belief system based on what you know, which is nothing. And that's not far off from what our belief systems are. They're based on older ideas. When you learn the older ideas, things start to make sense, okay? Religion came from the Northern Hemisphere. Why? Because that's where the pole star is visible. And the pole star acts as a stationary point in which people could start to build stories based on the, the stars and the way that the stars look, the shape of the stars. It's a lot easier to do that when you have a focal point, a reference point, or a north star, which is a focal point. So when you learn that all the ideas of Christianity and of Judaism and all of it, all the way back, all the way back to India, Okay, when you learn that it's all based off of the stars, you start starts to make sense, all right? They've had, we have solar deities, okay? Helios and uh, Mithra and Sol Invictus and Jesus and um, a, a, a Horus and Iusus and all these characters, solar deities. We have moon deities, okay? Which are totally different types of deities. They're based on lunar, you know, the lunar, the moon, Okay, now even the word lunar, when we call someone a lunatic, why do we call him a lunatic? It's based on the moon, lunar. Why? During a full moon cycle, especially when the moon is at its strongest, it actually pulls the salt water in your brain and creates a tide in your brain because we are based of water. Most of us, we're made of water. Most of our bodies are made of water. So the moon, the luna, has an effect on us, which is where we get words like lunatic. I mean, the word horizon comes from Horus, the ancient Egyptian god of the sun, all right? Son of Osiris and, and son of Isis, okay? These two parents of Horus, Horus being the sun in the sky, the ancient god of the sun, when the ancient people wanted to worship Horus, they would worship Horus in the morning. They would watch Horus rising, where we get words like horizon. Okay, words like hours in Spanish. Hours is aora, Horus. This is what where these words come from. So when you begin to learn where the words come from, things really start to make sense. Now, this is all based on, this is my opinion, based on what I have read. So there's no reason to fact check somebody's opinion based on what they know, based on you know information that I've read. So this is my opinion, this is for entertainment. If you like what I am teaching and the, the topics that I teach, which consist of, you know, I, I like religion, I like theology, I and no, I don't like organized religion. 
Because organized religion is man-made. Provably so. All of the stories in the Bible are retellings of older stories. When you can wrap your head around that, you can finally start to build off of a foundation based of truth, okay? When somebody seriously tells me that, like with all seriousness, when they tell me, oh, well, if you don't believe in Jesus, that he died for us, then you're just gonna burn in hell eternally and I should pray for you. Well, number one is that's awfully judgmental and um, you're not the one in charge of that, okay? God does the judging where I live. Number two is I just think it's interesting because that's a man-made idea. Man made that idea up, okay? That's a man-made idea. Christianity didn't start start until way after Jesus was already gone. So Jesus wasn't even a Christian in the first place, which is what a lot of Christians and Catholics don't really understand. Jesus wasn't a Christian. And if he was, Christianity died with him. So I'm just pointing out the, you know, the obvious facts, but I teach a class on just, just Genesis in the Bible. I could talk about it for hours because the way that it, it should be translated is not the way that we translate it. The Elohim does not mean God. It mean it's a pluralization. And when people say, oh, oh no, it isn't. Are you sure? Cause see that, see those two books right there? These massive dictionaries. These two dictionaries right there, they're huge. See them? I just bought those. And um, they're 1971 and they're this thick each. And they came with a magnifying glass because you need a magnifying glass to read them because the print is so small. But I will tell you what, if you start collecting books like that and start reading, you will absolutely learn the truth. And the truth is in the words. It's in the words. All of the words that we use date back to ancient, ancient times. And the truth is in the words, you know? And so I highly recommend people go out, and I know, like, you don't have to believe me. Go out and buy the books, you know? These two books, I just spent 50 bucks in a used bookstore. I'm, what a deal. Unbelievable books, too. These are huge. The Oxford English Dictionaries, the giant two volumes so excited you know and I own about now probably 19 to 20 different dictionaries at home so when I do research I go hard I look I don't, I'm not gonna look at one book and I'm not certainly not gonna take anyone's word for it I am gonna dig and dig and dig and spend money and you gotta do what you gotta do to learn so if you want to follow somebody that does that and that's how I learn you know then by by all means Follow me, check out my website with the sun33.com. Check me out on Telegram Uncensored with the sun33. I love you all and of course this is entertainment, my opinion.